Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the recursive function. So what is the recursive function? Basically a recursion is a method of solving a problem by using the solution from the same problem but simpler version of itself. So uh, in short a recursive function is a kind of function that call itself during the process of solving the problem so take a look at this uh, if I have a function like this and I have the input n and I set the condition of the function and then it will return something like n minus 1 so uh, it will use the function again but the input will become uh, smaller so it will run again and again until the solution is found now we can look at the example here and this is uh, like one of the, uh, the popular example of a recursive function so this is a function that define the factorial of a number and the input here is a number and n so if n is equal to 1 it should be uh, the result should be 1 right so uh, in this term it return 1 but if it's not 1 the function will return n multiplied by factorial n minus 1 so the factorial n minus 1 will run again so this is will return to the main function and n uh, is not the the first number anymore it become n minus 1 so the value will uh, become smaller and smaller until the num uh, the number itself is equal to one, so and then it will return uh, one. Now uh, I will try this function. So I will call this function factorial and first let's use the number the small number first. So if I put here three. Uh, the n here become 3 and it will use the factorial uh, 2 and run the factorial 2 here and then the second uh, loop or second uh, pace of the function uh, become this uh, return this 2 and then factorial 1 and in factorial 1 it will uh, use this term and return the number of one so if you multiply the first uh, number again and again until this uh, factor uh, factorial one so it should be three multiplied by two multiplied by one now we run this uh, function so it we return six now uh, I can try another one um, uh, something like uh, let's say 8 so if we return this number and you can try uh, use uh, to prove this use using calculator or hand calculation But uh, this is the meaning of recursive function. Now let's take a look at another example. I will clear this first. So this is a function that uh, reverse the string. So first, if a string is uh, nothing at all, it will return uh, the same string. So it will return nothing. But if it's something then the function will return uh, reverse 
but this time the string will start from the second layer to the last layer and uh, do the uh, summation of the first string uh, the first layer of the string so if I try something like uh, reverse uh, hello so the first loop this uh, this term should be uh, H and the first term here it will take the string E L L O and use it in the main function reverse and it will uh, uh, repeat itself until the string is uh, uh, nothing at all so the meaning is uh, something like this so the, the first page should be uh, the string is H and then it will use the reverse this letter and the next loop it will become like this so the letter here become less and less and it's uh, until it become nothing and the last part here is the string of the first uh, I mean the first layer of the string so the first one should be A and then E L L O so it will become like this now I will run this uh, function so it will return uh, this now let's try something like uh, um, like this so it will return in junior so this is how a recursive function work the meaning is simple uh, it, the recursive function will use the function itself again and again until the result uh, is found like uh, the example that I show you but uh, some problem can uh, cost a lot of time to solve because uh, some problem is not uh, simple it's complicated so the runtime might uh, take a little uh, bit too long but it's still uh, a good uh, method to solve a problem so this is it for this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.